first things first, do I regret combing out my locks? Hmm. Actually, what's up guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. So for today's video, I will be telling you guys all you want to know, the tea, everything. Do I regret combing out my locks? What I wish I knew before combing out my locks. That's the base of this video, is what I wish I knew before combing out my locks and what they don't tell you about combing out your locks. So without any further distractions, without anything else, I'm just gonna get into it. First things first, do I regret combing out my locks? Hmm, I don't. Like literally, I have no regrets with combing out my locks. It was one of the best decisions I could have made. Um, I feel like if I were to keep my locks in much longer and then somewhere along the line decide to take them out or like comb them out, I would have been in much more mess. Like my hair would have been so much more damaged than what it already was. So, I don't regret coming out my locks. My hair is gorgeous, my loose natural hair is gorgeous. It was gorgeous with the locks as well. But now, you know, it's just a whole nother vibe. But yeah, I'm just gonna get into what they don't tell you about coming out your locks. So, number one, my biggest issue that I found, the biggest issue, is that you will have mega split ends. Your hair is not healthy coming out of locks. I'm just gonna tell you that now. Well, at least for me. My hair may look have looked healthy, and I thought it was healthy at first, but then, after week one and I started combing through my hair, like trying to work with my hair, my hair was so damaged actually. Like I'm just gonna say that because my ends were so bad. I had like this much of my length was chopped off. That's how much of the split ends that I had. It was that much of length. Like so my hair would have been a lot longer than what it is. So today I did get a silk press. It looked much more, you know, spruced up and together before I left the salon but y'all know how 4C or type 4 hair is like I walk out there and poof, literally and I'm still getting used to that so the next thing that you don't you probably don't know or won't know about combing out your locks until you do it is how sensitive your scalp is like literally I don't even know if it's just me or how I is it the method that I use to comb out a lot? That probably impacted it as well. It was that and just not having to tug or do too much to your scalp and then probably when you would retwist it, you're like, when you have to pop locks, it's like you have to, it's like you're pulling at your hair to get out of like, you know, it's just a lot of pulling and tugging and snagging and nagging. Like you just, I didn't realize that it would impact me once I combed out my locks, and it really did. It was not cute, it was not pretty at all. My scalp was so sensitive, and I think it's gotten better now that somebody was able to get into my hair and tame it and detangle it, because I wasn't able to detangle. Like, mm, my hair may have looked good, but it was not detangled. Like, I could never like get a good detangle. I washed my hair twice since I was loose natural. I've been loose natural now for two weeks. And I washed my hair twice for different reasons. Literally, they don't tell you, my scalp was so raw. I was like, my sister, mm, I wanted some braids. So I wanted her to cornrow my hair so I can do crochet. I should have recorded how much pain I was in when she was braiding my hair. My sister is a very tight braider. Like, literally, she braids like she is from Nigeria. She braids like she is from South Sudan. She braids like she is from Kenya. She braids like she is from South Africa. She braids like she is from Zimbabwe. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Literally, it was so tight and my scalp could not take it. Before, like, before I locked my hair, it would have been a breeze because I used to do that style all the time, but like, now it's it was so much pain like i was literally crying while she was braiding my hair because the hair at the roots is so thick my hair at least is so thick it's it's, it's crazy my hair at the roots is so thick like very thick when she would try to do the parts it would hurt tremendously and she would not show no mercy i've never cried and i've never been a tender-headed person but when she was braiding my hair and trying to go through it and pick through it I felt like I was about to die. Like, I literally did. Ugh. It was a pain that nobody should go through. Yeah, they don't tell you that most likely you're going to be tender-headed once you get out of 
your locked stage of life. Okay, let me just add this in about my experience when I was coming out my locks. I went through two cones, or two rat tail cones. Well, like pretty much one actually, just one. My edge brush thing, it snapped off and I kept snapping it back in, trying to make it work, work the first time, but then after that, it was no more. So I had to go in and use another comb, another rat tail comb, I had to go out and buy another one. And my hair was just so rough. Like it was so tough to do it. But then my sister came in and I told y'all that she does everything hair based. Like she is from the motherlands. Like she does an amazing job, but it's just so tight. And it's just so heavy handed. Like, oh my gosh, out of this world. It was a pretty difficult process when um, combing out my locks. Another thing that I kind of forgot about is that your hair is gonna shrink up a lot. I really forgot about shrinkage. I've been in this lock journey for so long that I forgot about shrinkage. That I forgot that I will have to deal with shrinkage and that shrinkage would be a problem for me. I learned the hard way. Like literally this was me after I washed my hair for the first time. I did a little wash and go. It was cute, but the world wasn't ready for it. So I just put up in some puffs and my hair stretched out after that. And then after that and then so forth and so forth. It's so hard to revert back. It's so difficult to revert back because you just, it's just so much. Oh my goodness, y'all, I'm telling you. Not that I regret anything. It's just a challenge that I just have to get back used to. I was in a group of doing my hair every day and that's why I got my soap press because I didn't want to have to keep dealing with my hair every day. And then plus, since I had so many split ends, I was just losing hair and losing hair. And the more I just was continuing to manipulate it, the more I was losing hair. And that's never a good thing. You never... You want to get them split ends cut. So it was health over length. That's just period. And another thing, like I said, your hair is going to have a lot of split ends because the hair is combined, it's confined into the lock for however long you've had them. And then when you try to take them out, they're just going to want to stick back together again, just the same as your roots. And that's what it's used to. Now I have to revert my hair back to, you know, the loose natural lifestyle. And so that was another thing for me. But I don't regret combing out my locks for a second. I did it for versatility, more versatility with my hair. And, and Vanessa said it best. Watch her video, watch her reasoning. That's exactly why I combed out my locks. And in no way is this me saying that I combed out my locks because she combed out her locks. I was just saying that I wasn't able to explain why I combed out my locks correctly. And she did that basically in the best way. But yeah, I pretty much just combed out my locks because I was really missing my loose natural hair. And I was having like a very bad fever for it. Like it was all I could think about. I had to do it and I was so sure of this. Only do it if you're very much sure um because then you'll really be regretting what you did and then you're gonna be sad because you can't get your locks back because you combed them out that's pretty much why like i said i love my locks and that's the only reason why i decided to comb them out um there's always pictures to reminisce that i can always start them back whenever i want to of course it's not gonna be the same but it's gonna be even better so but really quickly i'm gonna show you guys my little silk press that i did get done I think you guys want to see. So this is how it is after my trim. I know it's going to look shorter once I um, apply water back to my hair again. But it's going to be all good. I'm not stressing about it. Still, like I said, a great decision that I made. And I'm very proud of it. Very happy about the results. The only thing I don't like right now is my gray hairs. Like, oh my gosh, can y'all let me be good? Can y'all let me look at, why do I have to look like somebody's grandmother? I'm only 18, it's not, that's not what we do. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for sticking in with me through this journey. I know it's been a lot. I know most of you were surprised that I did come out of my locks, but it was a very good decision on my end for me, I feel, and I'm very proud about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment down below any video suggestions that you guys may have. And again, thank you so much for watching.